Well, you ain't think long enough. I ain't gonna lie, man. So you, I, you gonna take the card that's on. I don't really, really want really the what card. what you deserve. I ain't even been knowing you that long. What I deserve? Well, we, so I'm, we I deserve a, a card? I deserve a card? I deserve a card. Well, did your baby daddy get you? I don't care what he didn't give you but that. But I'm with you right now, though. Man, you ain't with me. I'm with you. Talking. What you mean talking? You just with me. Yeah, but you with me. I'm not with you. I'm 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 a whole lot. You loving on me. I'm loving on you. Man, we talking though. That's why I got you the call. We ain't. Man, I don't that. want no call. You put it on me some slippers serious. or something. Slippers. Like you know my light bill do right now. Oh. You could have paid that. You could have surprised my baby me. Baby daddy could pay that. What you mean my baby daddy could pay that? <laughs> yes, I, I ain't. I ain't doing that with my baby daddy. I'm doing something with you. Two weeks. We only been talking two weeks. I that don't mean nothing. But that don't mean nothing. They've only been talking for two weeks and they've been having sex. You see, uh, I would like to say something to my single mothers out there, and you're not going to like this, really. You are a single mother, you want to get with someone, then get with a single father. Stop going for single guys with no kids. These guys will only take you as a spam bucket. That's the truth. That's the highest you can get. Because they are still young, they have ladies in the 20s that they can go for their mates it's either they have low self-esteem and they don't have game they can't approach the young ones who, who are in their prime the 20s the ladies in the 20s that are still hot they can't approach them so they see you as easy that is why they are with you so if you really want to be treated right you can't go for them. They will, they will only maltreat you because they don't, they don't really desire you. You are only there to fulfill their sexual desires. That's all. If you are really interested in being treated well as a lady, they, your best option is the man you had the kids for. That's the baby daddy. Anybody outside that is just management on, on your part. It's just managing you. That's the truth. <laughs> it's sad, but that's the truth. Internet and judge people. At the end of the day, I did what I had to do as a mother. My kids should not go without living life because I can't afford to do something. Like earlier that week, my baby daddy had gave me like three hundred dollars, but I had to get my hair and stuff done. It's only what? messed up now because I slept on it. I had to get my hair, lashes, nails, and stuff wow. done. So that's what I had to use the money from him for. My kids make good grades and everything is cool, and they want to go to the fair, and they deserved it. So I seen an opportunity with old dude. Like, okay, he been in my inbox and stuff. He been begging me to go out to take me out and stuff like that. So I gave him my number, conversed with him a little bit, and I invited him out to the fair because wow. I knew he was the type of person that was going to pay for it. So all I did was did what I had to do as a mama to make sure my kids can enjoy themselves. So I don't care how y'all look at me and how y'all judge me. I am a damn good mother. It's a lot of moms that wouldn't even do what I do to make my kids happy. I am a good mom. Hmm. You know, like I don't want to. I'm not attracted to him. I did what I had to do. Well, let's just stop it right there. Let me tell you, my dear, you are not a good mother. The first reason why you're not a good mother is that your baby daddy gave you $300 to spend on your child. And the next thing you did was to go and do your nail and your hair. My dear, you are not good in any way. You are not even a mother in the first place. Because what a good mother would have done would be to spend the money on the children and fucking get a job. Get a job and support the children. Support yourself and support the children. The next thing you did was to go and meet an old dude took advantage of him and become a 304. And then you are now here on the internet saying you are a good mother. You are, you are not a mother, not even to talk of a good mother. I mean, what do these women of nowadays even look at themselves in the mirror? Huh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to whom? It's your birthday, babe. Yeah. Hey. What's that for? A car. Y'all see a key? Nah. Turn around. You're not happy you got a car? Okay. Pay attention. <laughs> it's still your birthday. Come on. You not with the program. I'm gonna go. All right. You don't want it? What's this? I know that's not that fucking car. Oh.
Bro, what? Mm-hmm. I'm not driving that car. What's wrong with it? Dude, I got with you. Will you drive that car? No. Yes, it's a car. No. What are you doing? Bro, what is wrong with it? Bro, what's wrong with it? You drive that it got car. AC. Look, look, look. The back to my favorite part. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. This is my favorite part. <laughs> you know, if you want to sleep or something. You don't want it? I want that car, bro. Mm. Actually, people be ungrateful, bro. No, I'm ungrateful. I'm just sitting here and give me something like this. I would not drive that. What are you doing? You don't need to drive this. All right, walk in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Ungrateful. How you high, my friend? Ungrateful. Well, the thing is, she's actually ungrateful. But guys, let's um, look at these things more critically. Now, what gave us the idea that we must always give the woman... Uh, treat them special in order to be seen as men. Now, let's look at history now. In the 1950s or 1940s, where women were not allowed to own anything, they practically were like almost the property of the man they married. In those days, it is the men that go to work. The women are at home. Their, their only responsibility is to have kids, take care of the home. Even sometimes in some countries, like in some African countries, the property that these women have belongs to their husband. That is, in that scenario, that is where it is ideal for you. You give to your wife, you, you send them on holidays, you provide for them. In, in such situation, it is understandable, even if a woman is ungrateful, probably knowing fully well that she had assisted you enough, it will be under, understandable for her to behave like this. But in this time and age, where women have the same opportunities, even if in some times more opportunities than men. So why the heck would somebody be ungrateful? She can work just like you. She can earn money just like you. She has the same uh, uh, possibility of being as rich as you are. So why must you be the one that is providing? We need to really look and think deeply about this mentality of a man is a provider. If the man chooses to be a provider on his own and tells his wife that, okay, fine, you don't have to work, sit at home, then yes, it is acceptable in that situation. But once a woman is working, earning money, and then they're still expecting a man to do something, that's great. And it is not, it shouldn't be acceptable. I understand Honestly. it, but you keep trying to hold that over my head and you're talking to me crazy and my woman crazy. And that's why I, I, I've allowed it to this point. But now I don't give up. But you just still I don't insist care on anymore. calling her your woman. Your that's woman. my woman. That's, that's the mother of my child. What do you mean? Child. We just went. What do you mean by that? Child, that's right. You did lose one of the babies. My God, is so good. This is oh, oh, God. God. so heartless. Oh, you're God. sick. Thank huh? God. You're sick. No. Why would you say that? I mean, you know she's still mourning. It's she's not mourning. No, mom, well, shut the hell up. Because at this yeah. point, now you get out of control. You just said my lost child, your lost grandchild, and she's yeah, dealing with it right now. Right, right. No, look, no, no, look. Right now, we're at the point now where I need you to do something. Right now, you'll do something. What is that title? Apologize to us. To who? What you just did was pass along. To who? To, to both of us. To both of us. You shut up. Stop. Me? Mom. You want me to shut up? Come Please. shut me up. <laughs> come, I bet you won't come shut me up. Awesome. No, I've had enough for her. No. I'll put her in between a washer and a dryer. Mm. Come, come play with me. <laughs> now, that's what you get when you disrespect your mother in front of your woman, so-called woman. Now, we have to look at this guy here. I'm pretty sure this guy was raised in a single mother household. The mother was not with the father. That is why he's all emotional. He's taking action, taking decision from his emotional views of things you can see the mother said something very congent there that that is not my grandchild you see women have a way of seeing each other's bullshit far more and faster than men do the mother must have seen something with the wife and is calling his attention to it but instead of him to look at that critically he's being emotional about the whole thing uh my, my child uh, you are just saying oh shut up in front of the the wife it's unfortunate that we have this kind of people here that is why a father is very important in an household 
If Tasha over here cheating on me, I'm gonna need you to come over here and beat the brakes off her. Look at what I just found on her phone. I literally went over there, had her phone over there. Look, it says, you had bussing on you twice last night. Love that kitty by some name, Leroy. I don't know who the Leroy is. I'm about to call him. Let me find out that she actually been cheating and I'm about to cut all that hair out. I actually paid for that damn weave. So I'm about to instantly call this dude, make sure. I mean, all the way. You've reached the voicemail of Leroy, Mr. Sugar Dad, and that's the time. Leave a message at the tone and I get back to you. Thank you. Who is this messing with my girl? Messing with Tasha. Call me back. Who the hell is you, bro? Off you. <laughs> Who is this? Some dude named Leroy says you had you busting on you twice last wow. night. Love that kitty. Who the hell is Leroy? What you talking about? You dizzy man? Take that I damn hair. I'm about to cut out all that hair. No, I'm cutting all your hair. No, I'm about to touch you. I paid for that. Who the hell is this Leroy? Mister Nasty Time. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this guy? Hello? Hello? Who's that? You've reached the voicemail of Leroy. There you are. Mr. Sugar Daddy, that's the time. Leave a message at the tone and I'll get back to you. You don't know who this is. He talking about love that kitty. It's 2, 3 o'clock p.m. and you still sleeping. You don't know who this guy is talking about he loved that kitty. So your uncle is Leroy now. I never heard you ever mention this dude named Leroy. And you just said, this was your uncle. Now it's your friend. Man, I don't care about that. Cut that whole hair out of your head right now. I paid for that. So, so hold on. What is he doing for you? Like, why is like, why is? Well, I don't get it. What's going on? Your phone? He calling you back? What's up? What's up? What is this all about? Tell me about this. Who is this guy? If it says your uncle, you lying. You don't even know what to say. What you talking about? I pay your bill, so you over here using me? A bill. A bill. You, you tell me a bill. I just did your hair, and I just paid your power bill. Oh, you foul. You foul, and you get really cocky about it now? I mean, you're doing the most you, you're like a walking disease. That's how I look at you now. <laughs> you're a walking disaster. Man, like a no, straight up. <laughs> Bro, just get over it. It's Mr. Leroy last the time. I was taking your girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for staying to the end. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.